Hey everyone, we're here with our Minister of Heritage, Mr. Pablo Rodriguez. Pablo, welcome to our Toronto offices. How have you been? Yeah, well, thank you. It's great to be here. First time I visit your office. It's beautiful. I'm doing great. A bit busy these days, but uh, doing great. Touring across the country these days. Absolutely. Now, you're here in Toronto for a few days. Can you tell us what you're up to while you're here? Uh, well, I'm meeting, I have meetings with the, with the cultural sector, so people mm -hmm. from the music industry, film, television, uh, discussing with them uh, and how to prepare the future, how we can you know work with them, be by their mm -hmm. side, and also I'm here in preparation of the of the summit, the national summit on, on arts and culture in this, uh, May second and third. And there's so many different aspects of Canadian culture that are important, but I'd love to know. How important do you think it is for ethnic communities and different languages to the very fabric of our nation, to the arts, well, the sports, everything? I mean, it, it's part of Canada. It's Canada, actually, right? If you think about it, look at the importance of, of immigrants everywhere. Look at what you're doing here at the Latino with the people around you. I'm, I was born in Argentina. I didn't say a word of English or French, and now I'm a minister in the Canadian government. So I think immigrants can have and, and must have uh, a lot of influence in our society. And again, I said it to you many times before, should Latinos should go a bit more into politics. Absolutely. And you know what? I think it is important to keep inspiring different cultures and different Latinos, Hispanics to get involved. Over your you know, next five, ten years, where would you want to see the community grow? What would you consider a success? Well, I'd like to see Latinos everywhere in, in, in business and in sports. And you see some uh, of us, uh, but also I I into politics, because if you know they're around the table to make decisions, other people make decisions for you. So there are different groups, well represented, but again, I, I think that Latinos are, uh, are are not enough, and I feel a bit lonely. So I need more around <laughs> the table. I love that. <laughs> now we do have to talk, of course, about the the recent RT ban that was announced, yes. and it obviously revealed that Canadians need access to Canadian-made content in their languages because you don't want them being exposed to loaded media or biased media from different places. So, why do you think that it is so important for Canadians to have Canadian-made content in their language? Well, first on, on, on RT, it, it was a CRTC decision, mm -hmm. and I and I so totally support that decision it proves that our system works and, and I think that it doesn't belong to Canada, that type of propaganda. Uh, and, and, and on the rest, I think it's important for Canadians to have to, to be able to see themselves in English or French or their own language, mm -hmm. like to see those uh, programs in Spanish and in Arabic and, and, and so many other languages. Mm -hmm. And now, speaking about misinformation propaganda, you obviously did a big announcement yes. today. Um, at what point, though, does that kind of interfere with freedom of speech? If we're saying this is propaganda or this is misinformation, who's making that decision of what's permissible and when you draw the line? Well, not us. It's not, it's not the government. We're putting in place a program. Yesterday, I announced 2.5 million to work with organizations. Uh, they, they will provide projects and will finance them. But it's it's really to empower Canadians. It's to help people, uh, and especially younger Canadians, to have um, you know uh, the, 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 to to when they look uh, at the news, be able to recognize what is more factual news mm -hmm. and what could be also fake news. Absolutely. And minority stories are so important to Canada. Why is it important for those minorities to be the same people telling the stories? Well, because they recognize themselves in others that, that they see, right? And I think that's very important. It's showing the example, as I always said. And Apollo, we have to talk to you about soccer, obviously, <laughs> as an Argentinian and as Heritage Minister, you do work with sports. First off, did you ever see Canada being this good at soccer? Never, never. <laughs> and last time Canada went to the World Cup, Argentina won. I wasn't even born. You were not born. <laughs> I was. And I was very happy that year. So this year, with this push to Qatar, <laughs> what are you expecting? Do you think Canada's got a shot? Oh, I think so, definitely. Think about the games against the United States, uh, against, uh, against Mexico, winning against those powerful countries. Uh, it's beautiful to see them, how they play, how they stick to each other, how they really built a team. It's not only individual talent, but also how they play as a group.